Well, first of all, the drivers are expected to be customer service reps. So they represent Burlington Transit on the road. They're the face the customer first sees. Some customers are having bad days and our drivers are trained to deal with all types of situations. But the one area that I focus, that I want them to uh, focus on is trying to please the customer uh, and try to talk a customer down if things get a little escalated. The one thing I say is that it's not worth a $3.25 fare to get beat up because somebody doesn't have the money. So I, I'm a strong proponent with our customers that uh, let, let them on the bus. Um, don't put yourself at risk. Don't put yourself at harm's way. That's not your job to be the enforcer. That's your job to be the informer. So we really, really push for our drivers to not get into confrontations with, with passengers. First of all, it doesn't, nobody wins on that. But secondly, um, you know, they're putting themselves at risk because you never know uh, what could happen. And, and it's been very successful here in Burlington. Um, a lot of the, the assaults that we've had are mostly verbal. Um, which is just as bad as, as getting punched, but at the end of the day, I, I, I'm a strong proponent to our drivers that don't put yourself in harm's way um, over a fair dispute. Just allow them to ride. You're going that way anyhow. They should inform the supervisor. So the on-road supervisor can meet them. So if it's a habitual person that every day at this time, our supervisor can actually be on the bus and meet that individual and have that chat with the individual. So remove the driver from that. Um, or if, if you need you need be, um, contact an on-road supervisor to come and help you deal with it. But again, don't put yourself in harm's way so that you're getting yourself into a, into a dispute with somebody. So uh, we've done that in the past. Our supervisors have met up with drivers. Um, they've met up with the habitual people. And usually once we meet up with them and the supervisor kind of shows up, the situation completely calms down. So don't escalate the situation. So again, if you're in a snowstorm and you're running late, don't, don't return the, the banter back saying, well, can you not see the weather conditions? It's again, the customer service training that we provide. So yes, sir, ma'am, I'm doing my best. We'll get you there as quickly as we can and as safely as we can. And if they continue, say, sir, I need to concentrate on driving the bus. Um, when we get there, if you want to continue this conversation, I'll have that with you or I can call a supervisor and they can meet you. So I try and get our drivers to defer as much to the supervisors as possible. That way they're not putting themselves in harm's way at all.